Hello everyone, welcome to Semiconductor. Today, let's talk about transfer molding. Molding is a semiconductor packaging process to protect dye and wires from environment. It covers dye and wires by filling mold compound and there are many different methods. Among them, transfer molding and compression molding are two major methods. Transfer molding fills mold compound in the cavity from outside by transferring molding compound. Especially transfer molding, it is the most common method and is used for wire bonding packages, flip chip packages, lead frame packages, laminate packages, and so on. So, if you have some packages, most cases those are made by transfer molding except for some special cases. Let's check about process. Before starting mold process, we need to hit top and bottom mold because during mold process, Molten molding compound is filled into the mold cavity. So, if you don't heat mold in advance, molten molding compound will be cooled down and flow speed will be slowed down, then fail to fill mold cavity. Also, we need to make sure all area of top and bottom mold should be same at target temperature with minimum variation. Means uniformly heated at target temperature, typically 175 degrees C. Step 1. Substrate loading. Place substrate with wire bonded or flip chip dye. Please be careful not to damage wires or dye. Step 2. Molding compound loading and preheating. Molding compound is solid material and changed into liquid state by heating. Step 3. Mold clamping. To make cavity to be filled by molding compound, top mold clamp bottom mold and substrate. During this process, clamping first is important to prevent mold flash, which is one of common defects during molding process. Mold flash is excessive molding compound at outside of package. Step 4. Transfer molten molding compound into mold cavity. During this step, Transfer force and transfer time are important. Typically, it is divided by multiple sub-steps rather than just one step. Step 5. Fill mold cavity and cure. After filling mold cavity completely, you need to cure to make mold compound into solid state because molten molding compound is liquid state. But cure and mold is not complete cure. So, we need another process after molding. PMC, post mold cure. At PMC, cure process is completed and molding compound become chemically stable state. After molding process, molded strip looks like this. This case is for laminate substrate, but it can be other substrate as well. There are some key items we need to know. Gate is a place where molten molding compound enters into mold cavity. Cavity is empty space in top mold and filled with molten molding compound. Then makes package outline for mold size. Curl is excessive cured molding compound which is used for pass of transferring molding compound. And it is not part of package means discard after molding process. So it is important to minimize curl to use least molding compound but also need to make sure it can guarantee good mold flow. There are some common failure mode in molding process and people also called it as defect. Incomplete mold. Mold is not completed so there is empty space in package. Typically at the opposite side of gate. Mold flash. Molding compound goes out of package outline. Mold void. Mold is completed and it looks okay. But there is empty space inside of package. We can detect using X-ray or SAT, scanning acoustic tomography. Contamination. It is very straightforward. Foreign material on package, so package is contaminated. Scratch. Mark on package surface, maybe by sharp object. Chip off. Part of package is removed. Another one is wire sweep. This is failure due to pressure of mold flow and wire is bent and can be disconnected or touched with adjacent wires. For molding process, we need mold machine and mold, which is also called mold chase. Mold chase is a big metal block, has precise structure like mold cavity. Mold chase has some key requirement. Precise manufacturing. It defines package outline, so it should be made very precisely. 
abrasion resistance. During molding process, there are lots of mechanical abrasion. So, if mold chase is weak for abrasion, its shape is changed means cannot make precise structure, which is very critical. So, mold chase should be very robust for abrasion. Typically, special coating is used for this purpose. Releasability. After molding process, molded strip or package should be released easily. Sometimes, molded strip is stuck on mold chase and it is very difficult to detach. It is big problem because it wastes process time then make less packages means low productivity. Mold chase looks different by design. And when you open mold machine, it looks like this. Transfer molding use pellet type solid state molding compound. To clean mold chase, it use melamine compound. Mold process looks very simple, but actually it is very complex. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.